Hello, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do Moana Big. I'm not even sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but I did find the file already. It is from Exclusive Graphics. You can see here, I just purchased it. And I wanna show you how to download and upload. So anyway, before we get started, if you haven't um, followed already or subscribed, please do, I appreciate all the support. So all right, let's get started. Um, so. Anywhere that you purchase, whether it's Etsy, Creative Fabrica, uh, Font Bundles, it's going to be very similar where you have to download your files. So I'm going to click download files here and I do want the SVG file. Um, and so you click on download. So here's the thing. If you're making stickers, um, sometimes people want to download the PNG file, but I still like downloading the SVG file because if I want to make any tweaks to it, like color changes, um, or adding anything, moving anything, it's resizing just a little bit. It's so much easier to do that with the SVG file, make those changes and then flatten, and then you can create your stickers. So I feel like the SVG file is just, um, a little bit easier to, uh, to work with. All right. So here is my file on this one, because it's just the SVG file, it downloaded as a single file. Sometimes you're going to have to unzip it. But all right, here's my file. I'm gonna go into um, design space. So I'm gonna do a new file, new canvas, replace new project. <laughs> I knew I had the word there. Uh, go to upload, upload image and browse. And we are going to bring in Moana and um, I'm just gonna change it to Moana. It doesn't really matter here and upload. What's important here though is if it just said um, image four, for instance, you do want to change it to something that you can find it again and again. This will sit in the design space image library with all the other images uh, from Cricut. So if you name it something, you can find it later. <laughs> all right, let's upload and we're going to click on it and insert and add to can canvas, Canva add to canvas. I'm going to upload one more image. Okay. I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to do Hey, hey and Pua. I bought this file back in 2019. It's been years since I've made it. It's super cute. So I'm thinking about merging the two files. So, um, I'm going to do Hey, hey and Pua and upload. It might be too much work. I don't know. I I'm, I'm feeling it for some reason because it's a baby. Pua and Hey Hey will be similar in size, so I think it might be really, really cute. So let's add to canvas and see what it looks like. I was thinking of having the two, having the total image be 30 inches, but having the two next to each other. So let's make this a little bit smaller so it is comparable in size. And maybe have her over here, kind of like, well, not, yeah, maybe, or even flipping this image. Let's see what it would look like. Flip. Something like this. And then maybe having the age, like, right here. So let's say there, someone's turning, um, I'm going to do eight. Okay. And I'm going to do an offset of maybe 0.15. Let's see if that matches. That's still a little bit big. Let's do 0.10. Okay, and what I'm looking for is an outline that kind of matches this outline, and I feel like it's even smaller than that. So I'm gonna do 0 0.07, that looks better to me, and I'm gonna apply, because I want it to kind of match everything. Oops. Um, let's grab these two and group it together, and I'm gonna change this eight to maybe um, match the flower in her hair. So I'm gonna go here. Oh, that's a lot of colors. Um, we're gonna have to make some changes here. That is a lot of colors. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do something like that. Um, I like the way that looks. So 
So what we can do is we can have one single black background, okay? So let's grab this. And you know what? Let's grab all three items and align bottom. So that the reason why is that's going to give us a solid piece, all of it leveled. And so when I put it on the foam board, it's all gonna be leveled. It's gonna be sturdy because there's multiple points touching the, the table at the right, at the right points. <laughs> I'm trying to say that correctly. Okay, um, so I like the way this looks. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna grab the, the offset of the eight. We're going to grab the background of Hey Hey and Pua. So I'm gonna hit shift. Sorry, I'm gonna move my face over. I'm gonna hit shift and grab the background of Pua and Hey Hey, like I said. And then we're gonna grab the background of Baby Moana. Okay, and I'm going to weld it. It is gonna be one solid background. So I know where all the pieces go. That's gonna be important. We are then going to arrange, send to the back. So now we have one solid background. Oh, but the background right here, we've lost that background. So hold on. We only lost it. Okay, let me think about this. What do I wanna do? See, I lost the black right here. Um, I know, that's the only thing about merging, merging stuff. Um, so it looks like really, hold on, I know what to do. We lost it just for this ear, the face, and this. So I think if I grab I'm thinking, I know. <laughs> Is this a good tutorial? I'm thinking, so I'm I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> it's gonna be the ear. So let's go to contour. I only need this ear, so I'm going, let's, you know what, hold on, let's duplicate this. And I'm gonna put it right over exactly where it is, right? And I'm gonna contour and hide everything except for this ear, that's what I need. And just stay tuned, stay tuned, I have my ear. I need the same thing with the white, I'm gonna duplicate that and put it right over where it is, okay? And then I'm gonna go to contour and I only want hide all Perfect, it left just the face. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the face and the ear and I'm gonna do an offset. Did it work? Oh no, it didn't, hold on. Let me undo that. I'm gonna delete that, hold on. This gray is wrong. It's, the, it's this piece and not the ear, hold on. Let's contour. I actually, because the image is reversed, so it tricked me. All right, here we go. There, I'm gonna grab the ear and the face, right? And I'm going to do an offset. And see, now I have my black, okay? So this black, I'm gonna contour, hide all, okay? Stick with me, stick with me, it's gonna work. Um, and we can get rid of this piece and this piece. And you see this, we're just going to Arrange, send backwards. Hold on, we're gonna bring this down here, there. So now we have that black. Does that make sense? Uh, because we merged the black backgrounds, we lost that part of it, and so I just wanna give this a piece right here so that now we know where it goes. So all the face pieces will go on top. All right, so now that we have everything, um, this eight, we've lost that too. Not a big deal. We will just do our offset, apply, and you see, there it is. So it's gonna be perfect. 
All right, so now let's grab this whole thing and see and make it 30 inches. We're going to make it 30 inches wide because that's the biggest, um, I mean, we could make this a little bit bigger. What if we made it 40 inches? Let's see what that looks like. Okay, 40 inches is big. It's going to make it 40 inches wide and 30 inches tall. This is a big, big piece. Let's see how big this eight is. This eight is good. Let's see about this piece. You know what, it's too big. Hold on, let's make it 35 inches. I don't wanna make this too crazy. That's still too big. Let's do 30 inches. <laughs> it's still gonna be big, let's see. That will be perfect. Okay, 30 inches, okay? Um, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, everything on here should be, oh, you know what? Let's see how big her face is. Her face is going to be too big. Let's see. Let's see if we have any slicing we need to do. Hide all, let's see how big that face is. Oh no, that face is good. Okay, so we're gonna go back to contour, show all. I, like I said, I think all the pieces will be seamless. Um, this white right here is a little bit big. So let's look at Hey Hey. Is that Hey Hey? No, that's Pua. And let's go to contour and let's see how big that body is. Well, let's see how big the face is. The face is, oh, we can cut that on 11.7. We can cut that on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Let's go to contour. Let's hit the body and not the face and see how big the body is. And the body's fine. So we are gonna have a seamless piece except for the black background. Um, now let's check out her hair. Her hair is part of the background. We're gonna make sure that, we're gonna see that, that we don't have any seams in the hair, okay? All right, I think this is good. Let's start consolidating some of these colors though because we've got a lot of colors going on. So let's look at color sync and see what we have. We have quite a bit of browns, which I'm okay with the browns. We should have just two browns. Let's see, here is the chicken or the rooster. <laughs> Um, let's make all our blacks black, one black. Here's her skin tone. What is this? What piece is that? Oh, that's her skirt. Um, I'm tempted to make her skirt. Oh man, so many colors. Uh, what is this? This is the inside of her mouth, which I think should be the same as the rooster. Okay, that's one less color. The brown of her eyes, I think, should be glitter or something. This is the um, black, so we'll consolidate that. This is blue, here's some pinks. So the pink of her, I think the tongue and the ears should be the same color, same pink. So I'm gonna move that down or move that up. We still have a lot of colors. This is the, the flower and the eight. And I'm almost tempted to make the eight, maybe make that the same color as the rooster. No, that's not pretty. Let's do it the same as the flower. The flower will be some like glitter color. Um, let's see, her lips and the ears. Um, let's see, do we have anything else? We've got white, gray, I feel like we have our set of colors. All right, now, the pink will look better. 
once we figure out, let's look at her, her lips. Let's make her lips a little bit more pink. A little bit more. If we make it that pink, what color is that pink? Hold on. I don't like that pink. It's I'm having a, a hard time looking at that. It should be a, mm, uh, okay, so that color, I'm trying to think. If it's gonna be a more muted pink. Struggling with the colors. All right, I think we're good. Um, okay. Let's move all our pieces out, right? So we're gonna need to ungroup everything. Look at how cute that is, she's so cute. Okay, here's the flower, the flower is good. And I wanna cut the flower, I'm gonna try something different. I want to, um, I wanna cut some of this in, in crepe paper. So the bottom layer is gonna be glitter. In my head, this is what I'm seeing glitter for the bottom layer and then I'm going to cut some crepe paper multiple um, images of this and make it so that it kind of um, is more 3d and we'll fold it up we'll stretch it out that's what I want to do so um, this is I'm going to duplicate this a few times but I'm going to make this a different color so that um, So that I'll know to put that as crepe paper. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, let's see. Here are her eyes. I'm moving everything over. Oh, this we need to ungroup. We're gonna move everything just over here. Let's deal with the black background. And we have a lot of slicing to do, okay? This is gonna be such a cute image. It's a lot of work. I wanna do for her shells. I wanna cut this out, but I wanna put like pearls on there. Um, so this is gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. Okay, we've moved everything. We've got this, this is the, the head, right? That's gonna go on top. Okay, so this is our black background. What we're gonna do is we're gonna upload or go into image, uh, let's see, go into upload. I have my grid of squares. You can get that for free on my website, theuselesscrafter.com, if you subscribe to our newsletter, or you can purchase it. It's up to you. I'm gonna show you how to use it, okay? I'm gonna move all this over, oops. Okay, when you use the grid of squares, it comes in and it's all grouped together. I want you to go to position and use whole numbers. We're gonna put in two and three. Basically what we're saying is we want the X coordinate, we want this, we're gonna move over two units and move down three units and this is the beginning of our grid of squares, okay? Go to arrange, send to the back and we're gonna ungroup it. Now, we're gonna move this, oops, this, where did this white, this little piece come from? Now remember her hair is black, right? It's part of the black back background. So I don't want any cuts in the hair. I'm gonna move it so that her head is all one piece, okay? Move it up a little bit. And it's, oh, almost perfect. Okay. I think we're okay here. I'm gonna move it over. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And move this over just a little bit. Okay, her whole head is going to be seamless. That hair is gonna be seamless. I And that's great. This little guy 
it's gonna be what it is he's gonna be he's gonna cut down right here we're gonna have to it's more important that her hair um yeah I like the way this looks everything is okay this could be better right but I know what I'm gonna do okay this looks good to me we're we're gonna zoom out okay we have we we did ungroup this we don't need this so we're gonna delete that we're gonna slice this part first when you're slicing you can only slice two items at a time I'm slicing the square with the black image because the black image right now I'm gonna click on it it's 30 inches wide we obviously cannot cut it with our Cricut but what so what we need to do is we need to slice it up into pieces that the Cricut can cut which is why we have the grid of squares the grid of squares are squares 11 by 11 and they're all flushed together and that's going to give us as much of a seamless project as possible okay so all right we're going to slice these two pieces right now and then we're going to slice these two the bottom okay i'm going to move it over so this is amazing it's all one piece so we're going to put her face on there her hair is going to be seamless i'm super happy about that all right so now we can delete these two pieces now what i'm going to do is because i don't like that these this is a small piece right here. I'm going to grab this piece and I'm going to shift it up a little bit. How come it's not moving? I'm grabbing this and I'm moving the up arrow and it's not letting me move up at all. That's so weird. Why are you not moving? Um, hmm. That's really, really weird. So instead, let's go and grab our squares. I'm hit the shift key. I'm gonna grab all four squares and see if I can move the squares down. Interesting, it's not letting me move down either. Oh, hold on. I don't like how my squares are at 3.05. Somewhere it's shifted, but I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna move it down. I'm gonna undo it. I don't like that. Okay. All my pieces are off. What happened? Okay. I don't like this at all. I'm gonna undo it. I'm gonna get back. You know, this is the reason why I like putting everything on. Is this even? I like putting everything on a whole number because when something messes up, you can go back to it. And right now, are you kidding me? Okay, good, it is moving. Okay, I'm gonna move this out for a second. Let me see where my grid is. My grid is good. It's, see, look, it's on two and three. It's on a whole number. So now I'm gonna put this on. Somewhere in there, it messed up. I don't know where. So now, yep, we're still good. I'm gonna slice. We, this is good because we wanna make it seamless. And so it's important that our squares are flushed and that we can undo and you know all of that. So I'm gonna do this. Let's get rid of this. We don't need these. We don't need this. All right. I'm gonna just slice it where it is. This piece is gonna have to be taped down and it's okay. Um, so let's do this.
And I'm glad you saw that because that's gonna happen to you one day. <laughs> and you're gonna know how to undo and make this work again. So these are all our pieces, okay? This one we can ungroup, or not ungroup, but we can um, slice to you know get all the pieces separated. And that way we can consolidate. Or we don't have to, maybe, we'll see. Let's look at this piece and go to contour. It's broken up into four pieces. So you see our four pieces? So with this, we can we can actually use this square. Now, when we're I'm slicing this so that you know we can um, be more efficient on the cutting mat. Because otherwise this will move as one piece, and that's kind of annoying because they're small pieces. So I'm gonna slice it. When you're slicing, it's important that whatever you're removing is the only piece that is in this square, for instance. Everything else is not. So that when I go to slice, these three pieces will now move as one. This piece will move by itself, okay? So this piece goes right here. I'm gonna take this same piece and I'm gonna go over here and just make sure that this piece is by itself, okay? Grab this and slice. And now I'm left with two pieces. And I can even do this. You see how um, only this piece is in my square? I can do that and slice. So now this piece is by itself, this piece is by itself, and this is here. This I can get rid of. Oops. Holy, <laughs> I'm gonna grab all of this. Delete, okay. So we've got our black background. Oops, hold on, let me move these pieces aside. We've got our black background. We've got our, so for the eyes, you can do the same thing. You can slice or you can keep this together. This for me right now is efficient enough. Let's look at the um, this. This, I'm gonna zoom in, okay? So I was just showing you how you can slice this, right? Sometimes you can slice, like I can slice this piece. So I'm gonna bring in a square, make it really big, okay? And I'm gonna slice out the eyes of Hey Hey. And you can just delete the slice results. This I'm gonna keep, right? Now, Pua though, Let's see, does he, he can, we can slice out this piece. Let's rotate this. And I can easily put his tail in the square, right? So I can have a clean slice. I'm gonna slice that out. Now, but the rest, I'm gonna delete that, move that. This, the ears, the face, and the body is so close. There's no way I can get this square to only have the ear, right? So when things are so close, but you still wanna slice it apart, you can't slice, we're gonna contour. We wanna split this up into three pieces. So we need three images of this. Three, yeah, three images. So I'm gonna duplicate, here's image two, image three. I'm gonna to go to contour now, and I'm going to hide all. It's gonna leave me the face. I do need the pieces in here though, okay? So I'm going to select these pieces because I need all of this to cut, right? So here's my face now. My face is 11.7 by seven inches, which I can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So here's one piece. This one, I'm gonna go to contour. Now hide all, I want the ear this time. I don't want the face. So now my ear is separated. It's 4.3 by 4.3. The last one, I need the body, right? So I'm gonna go to contour, hide all, I want the body, I don't want the face, and now I have my body by itself, okay? So that's how you do it. If You, you have two options of, of separating pieces. You can either slice or you can contour, okay? And so hopefully I made it clear as to when you would use slicing versus when you would use contour. And we're gonna have another example right now with the body. The body is super close. This is not that close, right? We can slice that out, but we're just gonna contour. We're gonna contour one, two, three, four. I want this in four pieces. So 
Here's two, three, four, okay? I'm gonna zoom in just so that we can see this a little bit better. All right, let's go our first piece. I'm gonna contour. I want the face, okay? So I'm gonna hide all, and it gives me the face, but I want the cutouts. I want the eyebrows, you know, all of that. So I need to bring those pieces back in. So here's my face. Eight inches, eight and a half by seven and a half. Now I want the neck. I'm gonna contour, hide all. I want the neck this time, I don't want the face. And here is my neck. All right, let's go to the next one, contour. I want this body part. Um, so I'm gonna hide all, I want this, 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 and I want the little cutouts in the hand. So I want, oh, and I want the belly button. Okay, oops, and that little piece. Oh no, I forgot to get rid of the head. Contour, I don't want the face. So now I have just the body, okay? And then the last part, I want the legs. Let's go to contour. I wanna hide all. I want this, 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 and the little cutout. Oh, and I forgot to get rid of the face again. So I'll go to contour and just deselect the face. And now I have the bottom, okay? All right, let's zoom back out and see what we have left. Um, I'm okay with the eyes, you know? I mean, yeah, it'll fit somewhere with those pieces. Okay, um, let's see, what else do we have? We have just a few more pieces. We've got the grays that we need to slice. Um, I'm gonna keep the skirt like that because it's pretty close together. Same thing with this. I think, oh, okay, so we've got this we need to separate and everything else I think I'm okay with. All right. Oh, whoa, let me undo that, that resized. Okay. So we've got these two pieces left and then we're done. All right, let's look at this and this. Okay, this we can, um, let's bring in a square and slice this out so that we can be more efficient when we go to cut it. I'm just gonna do this. And you can rotate this and look, I'm gonna slice that. I'll keep those two together. So now these are done, right? Just gonna move it out of the way. I still have my square. I'm gonna slice some of these pieces out. There's a lot of pieces. And this is gonna be a fun project. It's gonna look amazing. It's a lot of pieces. I don't always, I don't love my pieces because <laughs> it's a lot of work. But I just felt like this one, it's been a while. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Okay, um, slice results. We can get rid of these, right? So I'm gonna just grab that, delete. Okay, so we have this left. Let's keep on slicing. Now this, oh, it's still too big. I was gonna say, you know, because these pieces are all over, I can put them in, but this is still too long, 14.4. Let's get rid of, the, not get rid of it, but let's slice it out. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna rotate this. Okay, 13, uh, let's get rid of, the, not rid of it, but slice that out. And then we could keep the rest together, I think. I'm not gonna slice them all out because there's a lot of gray. So I'm gonna delete this, delete this. So this, just imagine a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Actually, we don't have to imagine it. Hold on, let me save this. Um, Moana, uh-oh. Save it and let's go to make it. 
I'm going to show you what the screen looks like, okay? I'm going to do on mat, 12 by 24. I always have my 12 by 24 mat, continue. Okay, here's my white. My white, I can do two 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock. I like using my 12 by 12 mat. So I'm going to ar arrange this to make sure that nothing is at my 12 inch line, okay? So I'm going to do maybe something like this. And then now I'm going to put the ear down. And I'm probably going to use white glitter cardstock. So this will be scrap that I can reuse and scrap that I can reuse here. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. This we can move. Move object to this page. So now everything is on here. Oops, this is okay. And move this down to here. If I had, if we had sliced this apart, you know, we could have stuck this in here. We could be more efficient, but the, you know, it's too many pieces. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And actually we could do this. This is actually better because this will give us all this scrap up here. I'm going to, Let's see if we can do something like this. See, this little guy is ruining it for me. Ugh. It would be better if this was sliced apart. This little guy could be down here. We would have a lot of usable scrap for next time. But let me see what I can do here. This would be more usable, I guess. Blah. All right, so there's our white. Our white is two, two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock. Let's look at our black. Okay. I don't have, I'm not using 12 by 24, so I want to rotate this so that it is above the 12 inch line, right? This I can move over here. This over here. Make sure nothing is overlapping. Okay, and here's my eight. My eight is good. I don't want to be at the 12 inch line. This is good. Let's see what else we have here. We've got this, which means we can, this we can definitely move, move object, bring it back to this page because this was super narrow, right? Let's see if I rotate this, could we fit this all? Oh, it's so, <gasps> ah! It doesn't fit. Okay, hold on. Let's see what else we have. Oh, okay, this one. Okay, so let's move. Let's move this guy. Move object. We're gonna move it to the last page. Right, it definitely fits here. Let's see what else we can, is there anything else? There's nothing there. That's big, that's big. Okay, that's just our black background. It is what it is. Okay, let's look at this. This is her skirt, looks good. This, we can move over here. Um, there are more pieces. For whatever reason, design space is acting up. I only have 10 sheets, but I know I have more colors. I still have all of the rooster. So sometimes it's gonna be glitchy. I'm gonna close out, reboot, um, I'm going to cut my pieces and then I will see you for the assembly portion. All right. Thanks for joining. Comments, questions, please post them. I will talk to you in a bit.